Okay, so it's, it's tight fitting. So, you know, I was a little bit nervous as I'm pulling up the, the zipper in the back. It, you know, I had to pull pretty hard to get it to tighten up over my lats. So it is very, very form fitting. Uh, as you can see, it's, it uh, hugs pretty good. I gotta, I gotta talk to them and make sure I'm not pulling on the wrong spot to get it pulled up onto my thighs and stuff. I mean, you gotta, you gotta yank pretty good to get it, to get it up into your crotch. Uh, the hip pad thing seems like a decent spot for it. It's not gonna mess up if you're doing stuff on your stomach or on your back, which is kind of cool. It is very form fitting. So uh, you're welcome for me sacrificing my dignity on camera so that you guys can see it. It definitely sits tight on your, <clears throat> on your biceps and your triceps. Everything seems pretty tight. Even, you know, lower back pads seem to be connected pretty good. I haven't even, I haven't even synced up the unit to the, to the app yet. So I'm gonna try to do that now. Okay, so definitely first workout issues. You definitely wanna work up a sweat. I'm in Nevada, so it's dry here and it's cold. And no matter how much I crank, you know, I can crank the heat way up to do a workout to get sweaty. But what I ended up doing is, is wetting down my body just a little bit and then it was night and day. But if you're in any sort of humid environment or you're anywhere where it's a little bit warmer, I just didn't want to do a warm up, honestly. <laughs> so it's, but it's, it's, it's definitely, uh, it's definitely, ooh, it works. It's, it's EMS. <sighs> Oh goodness. Uh, the reps are kind of, they come on smooth and go away smooth, which is kind of interesting, different than I've felt before. So it comes on smooth and stops smooth. It's definitely hitting uh, really strong. Oof. It's flexing everything, everything hard. My arms are at 40%. And it's every bit I can do to move them. Chest is at 31. Uh, abs are at 44%. The abs are hitting hard. You definitely need to work up a sweat or figure out how to increase conductivity until you do sweat. Wetting my body down a little bit definitely helped. It's, it's an EMS workout for sure. So, I mean, you can see this. During the, the orange yellow there, phase of the circle, uh, that's when it is flexing. It's, it's a hit. Good God. One cool thing that I figured out, which a lot of this stuff I'll figure out over time and I can show you guys all this stuff. But if you hit one, you can adjust just that one. But don't, don't adjust just this one and then go to adjust lower back because when you go to dial it up, it's going to dial up both at that point. So I was, you know, I had done my lower, my legs and then I went to do like say my arms and I went to go do my arms and I had raised the legs and the glutes up like 20 levels and it was like, hello, you know, for those of you that have used the EMS suits now, you know what I mean when I say hello, it's like, you know, oh shit, you know, it's, it's past where I can control my legs, right? So one thing that's cool, if you want to adjust everything, you just double tap, it highlights all of them and then you can adjust up and down. Uh, the same with the other uh, suit, you can only go down and pause, you can't go up and pause, that's actually a huge thing. You don't even want it there, even if you knew it was a problem because you might forget and you might run it up. 
and then you come off break and you're like, you know, you're, you're stiff as a board, especially if you got high reps or high, high length of reps. Like if you're doing a 10 second on 10 sec, you know, 10 second on say five second break, that's going to be killer because if you can't move your arm, right, which I found it easier to bring my arms up than it is to try to lower them back down. But you know, if you can't use your arm, you're going to have trouble pushing pause or dialing it down. So something to be careful with. Don't try to go crazy before you st really start to understand the suit and before you've watched some of my videos on this suit itself. So one thing I want you to ignore is how high my legs are set. I apparently am some sort of mind muscle control freak from playing competitive hockey for 10 years straight. So, you know, being on the ice with, you know, 30, 40 pounds of pads on and you're skating and you're pushing, apparently I have a really good mind muscle connection with my legs. So the fact that I could dial my legs so high, don't assume that that's normal. That's, that's like I say, just assume I'm some sort of weird freak here. So one cool thing I want you to see, this is an interesting, just well-developed, software, but when I come off break, there's gonna be two shades of, the dark shade is the, the section that I'm not doing of the power, right? And then there's gonna be another shade and you can probably see it the best across the legs. But as it ramps up and it's across four reps, that shade grows across the, the lighter gray. So check it out as it ramps back up. Starting to feel a little bit for sure. Now it's coming on stronger. I assume you can see that it's growing across there. I'm feeling it the most in my chest and arms and upper body so far. Now I'm really feeling my legs. But it might be across more reps the higher you get because that still was stronger for sure. Now it's really strong in my legs. In fact, they're almost frozen up. I'm gonna have to make sure I move. <laughs> My legs are pretty tight. It didn't feel a ton stronger that time. <sighs> so I changed it to be a five second rep on and four seconds off to finish up my workout here. My arms could definitely get dialed up. I'm not sure what happened at this point in the video. It ended up, uh, I, I'm missing an entire another section of recording. I think I must have run out of battery or run out of storage on my media card. But I'm gonna go ahead and give you a preview of the next workout so you can kind of see seven days later what this suit, like how my body reacted to the suit. So here's a preview from the next workout. Hey everybody back, seven days since my first workout. My glutes are still sore. I was too sore yesterday at six days to work out again. I'm going to try some different stuff with the suit this time. I did wet it down. I did, well I shouldn't say I wetted the suit down. I wetted down my quads, hamstrings, butt, uh, and then pulled the suit up. And then I did my upper body and my arms uh, and then pulled the suit on the rest of the way. I'm hoping that gets me some better connectivity. You know, again, I'm in Nevada where it's dry, it's cold here. I have to have the heater off to get good audio. And it's, it's just, it's dry. So my skin stays pretty dry. So if I can make this thing work and I can figure out the hacks, everybody should be able to make it work. Soreness was next level. Uh, it, it, it made me really sore. I'm trying out something new. I don't know if you can see it. You know, obviously you can see this. Uh, it's a holder for your phone so you can run the Vision Body app like close to you right there. I'm gonna try out 20 second intervals with a 10 second break. I think that'll make for better workout videos because then everybody can get on the same page. And if you're off by a half second or a, a second, then it's not that big of a deal. So the, so the exercise structure is gonna be a little bit easier. I'm gonna do a workout that you know, I still haven't even, I didn't even put together a workout for this. 
I'm gonna try some lunges, some squats with curls, maybe some jump squats. And I'm gonna try kind of a 20 minute workout with, like I say, 20 second intervals of tension along with 10 second intervals of break. I'm just gonna see how it works. Hey guys, remember to like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends, hit the notification bell. Also, if you have any questions or anything you want me to cover, please uh, say it in the comment section. Uh, I answer every single comment, even the mean ones. And if you have detailed questions or you wanna know more about one of the suits or any of that stuff, what my current training stuff is, what my suggestions are, what use cases would be, email me at austinafter40 at gmail.com. I answer every single email and, and will do so until I get so many subscribers I can't handle it. So anyhow, I will see you guys next time.